Hello everyone, my name is Jarbas Noronha and I'm excited because this is my first science video in English, okay? Forgive me for any error. Well, uh, the video today is going to be about a uh, mechanical solar system. I just finished this project here, I'm really happy with the results, and this is a little solar system where all the planets, uh, they spin around the sun uh, on a uh, proportion. That means if he, Mercury is faster than Earth, here I have the same proportion of the years, all compared to the year of the Earth, okay? And the another thing I want to mention about these models, uh, every time you work on a model of our solar system, you have a dilemma because you have three factors to take in consideration. Uh, first is the size of the planet and the sun. Second is the distance between the planets. And third is the year or the period that the planet will take to go around the sun. Well, I can never, in a real situation inside a classroom, I can never put all these three factors together. And I'll show you why. Uh, here I have a uh, planet Earth. On this model is a little less than 12 millimeters. If I would go to create a sun that would be proportional to Earth, this sun would have to be 1.3 meters in diameter. Okay, that means it would be really, really big for this model. And that not that's not all. Uh, if I want to put the sun on the proportional distance between sun and Earth here. This sun would have to be 1.3 meters and be 140 meters of distance. That means you know that that would be not uh, practical to do in a model. That means when you do a solar system model, you decide what's your priority. I want to show proportion of the sizes, the distances, or the times. This specific model is a mechanical model that has movements. Uh, this is to show how long every planet takes to go a full spin around the sun. That means their year. That means you know that the Earth year is 365 days and you are going to compare all the other planets to Earth. Okay? I will turn off the light and the, uh, we are going to explain a little bit about each planet. Well, let's start. This little guy here, this is Mercury. Mercury is the smallest planet on the solar system, also the closest one to the Sun. Mercury takes 88 days to make a full turn around the Sun. In other words, one year in Mercury takes only 88 days. The next one behind here is going to show up. Oops, oh, there she is. That's Venus. Venus is the second planet close to the Sun. And one year in Venus will take 225 days. And after Venus, here is our planet Earth. As we know, one year on Earth is 365 days. After Earth, this little guy here, this is Mars. One full turn of Mars around the Sun is almost two Earth years. Around one year and 11 months. These four little planets are the rock planets and they are the closest one to the Sun. Now let's go to the big giants. This guy here, this is Jupiter, the biggest one on the solar system. And one full turn of Jupiter will take 12 Earth years. And after Jupiter, we have Saturn. Saturn is a little longer. It will take around 30 years to Saturn to go around the Sun. But it's not the longest one. We still have Uranus. Uranus has, takes 84 years to make a full turn around the Sun. And lastly, that is Neptune. 
to make a full turn around the sun, Neptune will take 165 years. Since it's so difficult to see the slowest planets, I'm going to speed up a little bit for you to have an idea. Well, that's it. I hope you have enjoyed and the I'm accepting any suggestions. Okay, see you in the next video.